All right, guys. Crick diggers coming to you. We're out here. What is it? Friday? I don't even know. I've been in the hospital for five days. Concrete. Having stomach issues. Um. So I'm in the chair. I'm videoing today. Might do a little bit of digging. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm rough. Love it when I do that. <laughs> but uh, we got a pit here probed out, kind of right up against this wood pile. We had to move half of it. Um, there's a little bit of wood ash coming out. Seems like it's fairly deep. It's right in line with one we did over there, so probably the same age, uh, different side of the yard. But. We're gonna get it opened up, see what we get out of it. We'll let you we'll let you see the pit number four, guys. All right, so we just got down to the. the I mean, this is a, there's a high poop layer, so there I'm must shaking. be a lot of stuff in here, and they probably ain't cleaned it out. And we're not even down very far yet, and Trav just popped a blob up with the shovel. And a pipe bowl. And a pipe bowl. Oh, it's an Edward Hoeing. That's what I thought it, it was. It is an Edward Hoeing. It's the old one, isn't it? it? It's an old, old blob, Edward Hoeing. And it's, it's freaking amazing. It's like the one I got. <laughs> Take it up to the camera, Zach. Oh my god. That might actually be smaller than mine. Dude, that is freaking phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Pit number four, another rare ass bottle. Yeah, guys. that's the exact bottle, bud. Oh my lord. It says this bottle to be returned when empty. This bottle not to be sold. I've never seen that message on the back of a bottle. There she is. If it'll focus. You might as well stay live, Corey. I'm gonna reach down in here and see what else I can pull up. There it is, folks. Pipe bowl's got D on it. Look at that D. I told you I was feeling something seeds phenomenal. Out. That's just the start, though. That's the very first bottle out of a hole, guys. You see that? This pit's loaded what? with seeds. Isn't that crazy? Loaded yeah, with seeds. Look at all the seeds in nice the shovel. Nice oh, yeah, pipe bolt right there. See all the seeds, guys? They was eating good in this pit. Just seeds in the whole pile. Number four. Oh, my gosh. Oldest yet. First bottle out of the hole just... Crazy awesome. Well, we'll get back to you when we get a little bit more of this nice. dirt out. Alright, Trev, we found bottom. It might only be four foot deep. It's not a real deep pit, but we got like back wall back here or something, and there's stuff showing, a couple bottles. Trav thinks there's a mason jar back there. I'm gonna pull the med first, guys. Here it comes. Oh, it's broke. It was a slick anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the mason jar. It's broke too. Oh, it was a, it was a, the ball mason. It was an older one, older ground lip style, yeah. but. That would have been a nice one. Let me see, I think I got another one in here. Nope, it's broke too. Everything's broke in here, except for that blob that came right out the front. That's it for now. Right, it's got some bottles down here now. Damn. Was it? It's a hutch. That was a Lone yeah, County bottle at Comer Company. Uh, that was one of them roar box. Yeah, it was. Dang. Oh shoot. That's still a keeper probably. The bottles coming out of here that I didn't think I'd ever see again. Another piece of one. I think so. I think so. Yep, another piece of wood. Let me see my little shovel. Where's it at? Right there, Cord. Right there, bugger. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, it was. Dang. I know. Y'all oh, see for now. Piece of a broken bed. Mm, all right, we'll get back to you. Guys, Zach had to leave to go to work. A little update. Still lots of glass coming out, but we're about done with it. Corey jumped down in to check the final last little spot, and he thinks he's got a bottle sticking out. You see it down there? There she is. How that side wants to freaking pack. There it comes. Yeah. Embossed. It is embossed? Yeah. What is it? It says it is Foley's Honey and Tar. Foley's. Steubenville. Steubenville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Steubenville. <clears throat> there you go, guys. Foley's Honey and Tar. Nice blown one. Anything else in there? We got a couple full bottles. Two. Two bottles and a pipe bowl. Two bottles and a pipe bowl. But that blob made the whole hole. But there you go, you see all the glass that came out of the hole today, guys. It was a heartbreaker. It was probably about 50 broken lantern domes. A couple of almost full, really nice vases or dishes. Cups. Some kind of would have been a really nice thing. The ball mason, that would have been a really good one. A couple of gold gilt plates. A little finger lamp with just a little piece knocked out of the bottom. Still a really cool piece. Might hang on to that one. Extract bottles. Another broken uh, hoeing, a aqua version of one. What happened to that hoods? You get covered up. A couple other pieces of meds. The real crier for today. You guys already seen, but I'll show it to you again. This Lone and Cunning bottling works. Colmer and Company. Corey actually dug a full one of these out of the river dump with a V-nickel on the same day. That was, a, that was an awesome day of digging. If you guys go back and check that out, it's on YouTube as well. But I think that's going to do it. We're gonna fill this hole in. This is number four down. Still not the oldest. This one ended up being like 1890s to 1900s. We're thinking the oldest is right up in the very front. We probed it out already. That's probably gonna be a next weekend project. We did do some metal detecting last night uh, with the Nocta and Corey ended up getting a uh, Another tiny little silver coin that we're thinking is 1500s. All you can see is IA on it. It's wiped the rest of the way. But it's really, really awesome. I'll show the little video of that too at the conclusion of this one. Corey's hurting. He's got something going on with his gallbladder or something with his organs. But I'm going to get back in here, help him fill the hole up. We will see you guys. On the next adventure, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time, guys. Guys, Corey's going towards the back wall. We thought we were done, but then he just popped out this little flask. We were hoping it was a bombing, but it's nothing. Just a nice strap side. But he says he's got another more. Pit. What is it? Another pit. Another pit? Yep. We just came into another pit, guys. Oh, and it's loaded with glass. It's loaded with glass? Yeah. It's not a blob, but it's a beer. A beer? Yeah.
Yeah. What kind of beer? Blue and Cumberland. Really? Yeah. Blue and Cumberland. Yeah, it is. When you guys hear it say blown, you can see right here how the mold line runs up the bottom and then stops right in this area. That means it was blown in mold is what they call it. But there you go. You got more coming? Maybe. Definitely more glass. More glass? Oh gosh, yeah. Oh yeah. Any more bottles coming? There's just all kinds of shit here. Another piece of a cup. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I don't understand that shit. We're going to work back on this back wall, guys, and see what else comes out. Stay tuned for more. Guys, I just flipped the camera off, and Corey says he's got another another bottle coming out. What we got? Blown Cumberland. Another blown Cumberland. Yep. Another blown Cumberland brewing. Right back. In. Nice light, light yeah, amber. Seen that. That's a honey almost, isn't it? Yeah. A little light in it. Yeah, I think it's another pit. Looks like well, we're gonna keep messing around in this little spot, guys. We'll see you back if anything else cool comes out. Stay tuned for yeah, more. We got a flask or something in the hole down here. We're actually, I don't know, we thought we were done the pit, but it looks like they knocked the wall down on top of half of it. Oh, wow, it's yeah. freaking green hinge yeah. mold. Pretty one. Yeah. Check there should be. Out, guys. Pretty nice. Yellow flask. Cool dupe. Well, get back to you if anything else comes out. All right, we're out. But we're back out here at the Colonial Field. Uh, we don't have much light. We got the pinpointer on, because <laughs> we don't come prepared. Uh, Trad's got a coin here. It's small, and it it looks thin. It's like half cent size. You yeah. Me, you want me, Parker? Let me hold this here. Hold that, and I'll try to wipe it off in the light. It's real thin, isn't it? Is there any details? I think there is. There's something coming. Oh, it's a flying eagle. Is it a flying eagle? Yeah, look at that. Nice. It's in nice shape. Flying too. eagle, guys. Wow. Yeah, that's my first one. That's a really pretty one. Check it tell. out. It's got nice details on it. Yes. I don't know why I'm still holding that plug in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> look at that flying eagle. Did Woo! You hold the light like, to the side facing like on the side. Oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Wow, that's a nice flying eagle, guys. Dang. Look at the details on that coin. In the they middle of usually, an iron field. Yeah, they don't usually come up looking like that. Heck yeah. Well, we're going to stay out here a bit longer, see if we can get anything else. All right, so we're back out here at the Colonial Farm, and uh, I just had like a double tap. It must, it's, there's either another one in there, it was on its side, but... I don't think there's going to be any deets on this at all. It's it's smooth, but it is so thin. It's definitely not U.S. It's way too thin to be U.S. It looks like a half dime to me. Another silver in the hole, guys. Yeah, I mean, it is smooth. Yeah, look how thin that is. Yeah, I know. I don't even want to wipe it because I don't no, know what it we'll is. We'll spray yet. it when we get back to the house. Yep. Number well, two silver. There's another colonial silver out of here. It's tiny. Two weeks in a row. We're just going to keep messing around. 
I do see something on the bottom right there. Yeah, there is something. It might be through. a date or something. I don't know. I can't tell either. Yeah. We're going to hit this hole again. Mess around a little bit longer. Yeah, probably half real. I don't know. It looks smaller. But That's cool, man. We will find out. Yeah. Heck yeah. See you later.